Hey everyone, welcome back to Asian Media Network. We have a special guest with us for October, which is Filipino American History Month. I have with me Lonnie Patubo. He is an archivist for the Filipino American National Historical Society, the Arizona chapter. Welcome to the show, Lonnie. Hi. Nice to be here. Yeah. Thank you for inviting me. Absolutely. So let's start a little bit about your background. Can you tell us something? Well, I'm uh, three quarters Filipino, a quarter Mexican. Um, my, both of my grandfathers were part of the first uh, immigrant wave to come to the West Coast in Hawaii. So, uh, and what, what year they call was the that? Generation. Um, my paternal grandfather arrived in 1927 in Honolulu wow. to work the sugarcane plantations there. Wow! And when did you arrive in Arizona? I arrived in 1982. I was born in Stockton, California, which is a major gateway for our early. Uh, Filipino immigrants or manongs as we call them. Mm -hmm. And what got you interested in, you know, sharing about Filipino history? Oh, when I joined FONS, uh, well, Filipino American History Month, uh, I saw some of the celebrations here and uh, wanted to make sure that our community connected with its roots because here in Phoenix, our Filipinos have been here since like the 1920s. So. Right. Um, yeah. And uh, just to reconnect to our past, it's uh, really important to know what our ancestors face and what their lives were. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And actually, Filipinos make up probably the largest Asian group in Arizona. Yeah. 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 So let's talk about a few really important moments in Filipino American history. Tell me about the Watsonville riots. Well, the Watsonville riots they occurred in. Uh, 1930 up in Watsonville, California. It's a series of, and it wasn't just there in Watsonville during that time in the 1930s. There was a lot of, lot of anti-Filipino sentiment going okay. on on the West Coast. So uh, a personal, conne personal connection to that was my maternal grandfather arrived in Seattle in 1930. Mm -hmm. And uh, by, uh, I think it was May of uh, 1930, the riots had already occurred a couple months before, but uh, he was in Gilroy working in a labor camp. And I understand that um, there was an exploitation of Filipino workers. Yeah, because uh, that first wave of majority were uh, laborers coming to work, imported labor, coming to work the agricultural fields. And they were called sakadas, right? Can you explain the what sakadas? Hawaii In Hawaii, they were called sakadas. They worked mm -hmm. the sugar plantations and the pineapple plantations there. Uh, okay. And then a lot of them, once they were done in Hawaii, they came to the West Coast and started working the agricultural fields of California, Washington, even here in Arizona. And what impact did the Watsonville riots have on the community? Uh, it just uh, brought out the, the exploitation that uh, these early Filipinos are facing, which uh, it, w it would lead to a lot of the activism that, that, that you see, especially in the farm labor movement. Hmm. So something I actually wasn't aware of, being an Arizona native, is that Cesar Chavez, who was an icon in the Mexican-American history, actually played a huge part in Filipino-American history. So tell me about the 1965 Delano Grape Strike. Well, the Delano Grape Strike uh, was actually uh, started by a group of Filipino union workers with the AWOC, which is the Agricultural uh, Workers Organizing Committee. Mm -hmm. There was a group led by Larry Leong and Philip Veracruz and Pete Velasco. And Larry Leong was a major um, organizer for the that union, and they start. They walked off the fields on September eighth, nineteen sixty five, oh, wow. starting the Delano Grape Strike, and mm -hmm. they reached out to Cesar Chavez, who was also organizing there, to uh, join them in solidarity to, for their movement for wow. uh, better working conditions and and uh, better compensation. And if I understand, Cesar Chavez encouraged both Filipinos and Mexicans to strike together with no violence, is that correct? Yeah, he brought in, you gotta understand that the Filipino um, union members, they're very militant, so it was kind of uh, different compared to Cesar Chavez's philosophy. And I mean, later on that caused some rifts within the union, but all together, the joining together was a major impact in that that movement. Wow, well that's amazing information and even I've been learning a lot of great stuff today. So thank you so much Lonnie for sharing that thank with us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. And if our viewers want to learn more about Filipino American history, where can they go? Uh, you, you could contact myself on Facebook. I'm very active on uh, Facebook and I share a lot of not just our local history but Filipino American history um, throughout the, the nation. And uh, we also have a email, it's fonsarizona at gmail.com. So if you'd like to contact us or if you have any 
vintage pictures or any questions, want us to do the presentations, we'll come out and do it for you. Well, that's amazing. Thank yeah. you so much Thank for spending you, time with us. And yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed what you learned today. And we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>